Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia. It's a progressive neurological condition that goes through a variety of stages. It's ultimately fatal. It's difficult seeing the one you love going downhill. As it, the disease progresses, she's more and more unlike what she was before. Frequently she gets confused as to where she is and sometimes who she is or who I am. We've seen the signs as he's, you know, progressing. Some days are very good. Another day he doesn't recognize everybody. Many of the symptoms associated with Alzheimer's disease and other irreversible dementia have to do with behavior, not just memory. So things like behavioral changes, cognitive changes, and the ability to function on a day-to-day -day basis. Music can be a very powerful vehicle for communicating with a person with dementia at all stages. We were very fortunate to be able to interview and test an 84-year-old woman with severe dementia. She was unable to look after herself or recognize family members, but music she remembered and was a great source of pleasure for her. This suggests that music is somehow special and has neural protection in the brain. Since that study, we have been very fortunate to have had grant support from the Grammy Foundation and from the SPATS Award at the Alzheimer's Society of Canada. Having a healthy brain lifestyle is important for all of us, but it's particularly important in the early stages of the disease. I sing in the choir, I sing soprano. I read music reasonably well. Um, I, I read music very well. <laughs> Music in itself is, is, um, is challenging. It makes you feel the music. You begin to understand what the music is, is trying to say to you. You don't always have to understand all the words, but there's a, there's a feeling to music and uh, it's, it, it's a good feeling. As a person becomes more impaired with the disease and communication becomes more difficult, music can be a source of fun, activity, dancing, singing, can be very helpful in terms of reaching someone but also staying connected with their social network. My mother has uh, middle stage Alzheimer's. Um, she's been like this for several years now. She as well, sometimes um, when they're middle stage, they'll like draw a blank. And my mom all of a sudden will start humming a tune or whistling. <laughs> whistling is one of her favorite. Mm -hmm. And I really do attribute it to the sing-alongs here. Music soothes the savage breast and it does it it helps her immensely i i don't know what her life would be like if she didn't have music it's always been music in her life and i think it helps her to relate back to when she was young she used to play the church organ sundays was our sing-along time at home so it's a good thing for her i love music well, I go around humming along and that, <laughs> doing my thing. <laughs> it makes me happy. Towards the end of life, the later stages of the disease, music can be a tremendous source of comfort and reassurance, particularly as verbal skills diminish. I'm a care partner for my husband, Leslie, who is now in Parkview Home, and he is in the approaching the late stages, I would think, of Alzheimer's. Music has played a wonderful part in his adjustment here. They have a wonderful program, and oddly enough, I didn't know he had such a good singing voice, and he sings out all the time. And I noticed that the other uh, residents here react to the music the same way. When, you're, when there's a concert going on, their hands and feet are always keeping time to it, so I think that's very beneficial. 
I was very surprised to see him get up and ask the, the uh, director of the nursing home to dance. And he's up and around and about with all the ladies. I think he's quite a ladies' man, which I would like to say he wasn't always that way. <laughs> I've listened intently over the years to tactics such as uh, trying to socialize people with Alzheimer's disease through talking to them, through keeping them involved, not shutting them away in a room, keeping them involved, but that's the best thing you can do to fight back against somebody who has the disease. And then on the other side, look to this exciting new research, using music uh, as a way to help socialize that might mean the day will come when we can defeat the disease as long as we have enough money to fund the research in the first place. It's important to remember that every person with dementia is a unique individual, just like everyone else. And so music is going to play a unique role in everyone's life. Music can really reach people with dementia, sometimes in ways that we don't understand. But it's a powerful communicator and a way of staying connected with people, but also for the person with dementia to stay connected with their world and with their whole lives throughout the progression of the disease. People with dementia are still people, and music is a way of reaching them.